Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to mix down using Easy Drummer 2 inside of Pro Tools. Now when you're using Easy Drummer 2, in most cases, to create a song or to program arrangements, you're working with just a stereo output from the plug-in, and that works great for most situations. But when you're doing an actual mix down where you want to incorporate those drum sounds into a track, you might want to EQ the snare separately, you might want to compress the kick drum, a variety of different processing things you might want to do there, as well as use automation inside of Pro Tools to create the track. To do that, you really need to separate the signals out into their own channels in Pro Tools. Let's take a look at how you do that and some tips on how to make that work even better. So the way I've got things set up here is I have a stereo instrument track created inside of Pro Tools, and I've got Easy Drummer 2 loaded in as an instrument there. My song is programmed here in the bottom of Easy Drummer itself, and when we start Pro Tools, it'll play back the track. Now as you can see, everything that's coming out of the instrument is coming out of this single stereo track and then routing to our master. Now to get things to come out separately so I can have individual tracks of all the different instruments inside of Easy Drummer 2, we need to make a quick change. Let's go over here to our mixer. We'll click on that. And if you go down here, you see there's a number at the bottom of each channel strip inside of Easy Drummer 2. If we click on that, way down at the bottom, there's a stereo selection and a multi-channel selection. By default, everything is set up stereo, and it's coming out of output 1 here at the top. If we change this to multi-channel, you can see that our numbers have changed at the bottom of the channel strips. So our kick is coming out of output 1, the snare drum top mic is coming out of output 2, the snare drum bottom mic out of output 3, hi-hat out of 4, and so on down through all the different tracks that we have here. Now I've selected a, a kit here in Easy Drummer 2 that has a pretty basic routing. The only effects we really have are the, uh, the bleed mics, which we'll take a look at a little bit later. Now that we have our outputs assigned to the different instruments here inside of Easy Drummer 2, we need to go back to Pro Tools and create aux inputs for those. So we'll click on our stereo mix, and we'll use our key command, which is Shift-Command-N. That opens up our dialog. We'll hold down the command key, hit the right arrow. That gives us a stereo track, and by hitting the down arrow, we get an aux input. Now I'm going to create seven more of those. And you can see that Pro Tools has populated us with a total of eight different inputs here. We've got our original stereo mix where the Easy Drummer plugin is still instantiated, and then we have our seven separate aux inputs. Now we need to assign these aux inputs to the same outputs that are coming out of Easy Drummer 2. So our kick drum is coming out of one, which will remain this first output here that we have set up. Our second aux input, let's assign that to plugin Easy Drummer number two, and that will be our snare drum top mic. We'll go to Easy Drummer three, that will be our snare bottom mic. Easy Drummer 4 is going to be our hi-hat. 5 will be our toms. 6 will be our overheads. And for 7, we'll set that up to be our ambience. And then 8, we can route as all our external percussion, which actually there isn't any in this particular take, but just for the sake of routing everything here. Now we can go back and we can clean this up just a little bit. We can label this snare top. Our next track will be snare bottom, and so on. Now that we have all our tracks labeled, I notice one other thing, and that's that our uh, percussion tracks over here in Easy Drummer are going out of different outputs than I want to have here on my percussion input in Pro Tools. So let's set all of those to 8. Now, when we play back from Easy Drummer, instead of the output going out of the stereo mix as it was before, each of these instruments will be routed out of its own output, come into our aux inputs here in Pro Tools, and then we'll be able to hear all those and control the mix from inside the Pro Tools mixer over here. Now we've got all eight of our tracks labeled. We've also got all of our outputs set here the way that we want them to feed our inputs. Let's listen to what the result is. So you can see we have our kick drum coming in here separately. Here's our top mic from the snare drum, bottom mic from the snare drum, our hi-hats, toms, overheads, etc. So they're all set up separately. So we can solo here. Solo our snare, bottom mic on the snare, hi-hats, toms, and our overheads. Now within Easy Drummer 2, we have these controls at the bottom here in this particular preset, which are mic bleed presets. So if we come over here and we'll solo our bottom mic 
on the snare drum, you can hear that there's some kick drum bleeding in there. By turning down the mic bleed control, we can take that out. Now in a real session, the kick drum would be picked up by a bottom mic underneath the snare, so you might want to leave some of that in for the sake of realism, and it tends to add a little bit more life to your mix as well. If you want to take it out completely, you certainly can. If you want to have it in there all the way, you can turn that up. Similarly, when we go to the overheads, we've got bleed there from the various instruments. If we turn that down, all we get are basically cymbals. If we turn that up, the other instruments will be included. Let's bring that back as well. We'll set each of those to about 50%. And within our ambience and with our, in our mono ambience feed, we also have those. I'm going to go ahead and turn those off on that. One other thing we need to do. At this point, we have our drums balanced using the controls that are inside of Easy Drummer. Now, you can go with those balances, but what I like to do is actually click on those. If you command click on each of the faders, it will set it to zero. And that way, we're getting the strongest signal for each of those tracks straight out of Easy Drummer 2. Now we can do our mixing solely over here inside of Pro Tools. So when we play this back, our balances may be off. We may want to turn down the mic that's underneath. We may not want so much ambience. We can balance our toms when they come in. Our hi-hat may be too strong. So all these things can be controlled here. We can also control the panning within as well. If we need to add plugins to process things, we can do that using our inserts. So if we want to add an EQ, we simply can go up here, choose whatever EQ it is that we want to use and we have access to that right inside of Pro Tools. There are a couple things that I like to do to a session like this to make it easier to work with the drums. So here's some tips for you. The first thing that I'll do is route all of these drum outputs into a stereo submaster. So we'll create that again by hitting Command Shift N, and then we will hit our down arrow to create an aux input, and our right arrow to create a stereo. Hit the return control, and we've created an aux. Now we need to route the output from all of these Pro Tools tracks that have our drum signals into this aux. To do that, we'll select all of these, then we will hold the Option and the Shift command, select our output, and assign it to a bus. We'll assign it to bus 1 and 2. This one should remain on output 1 and 2. Now we'll set our input here to that same bus 1 and 2 setting. There we go. Now when we play back, our drums are routing out of this stereo bus. Now this gives us a couple options. We can control the overall level by turning that up and down. We also can go up here and add plugins onto the entire drum mix if we so desire. One other thing before you're finished with that drum submaster is be sure to label that aux input. So we'll label that drums. One other thing I like to do is create a VCA group, and this allows me to easily control all of those inputs from the Easy Drummer 2. Let's take a look here at how you do that. First of all, we'll add a VCA input. So again, we're going to hit our Shift, Command, and N. We'll hold down our command key and hit our down arrow until we get to VCA master. We'll create just one of those. And I'm going to actually hide Easy Drummer 2 here. Now let's assign all of our Pro Tools inputs to that VCA 1. We'll select just our input tracks here. I don't want the submaster. And we're going to hit command G. And that will create a group. We'll label that drums. And we want to be sure that we select VCA. We'll select VCA 1, and we want follow globals on. That way, when we hit our mute commands or our solo commands, all of our tracks will follow along with the group. So we're finished there. Now you can see that our VCA master is switched so that it is now assigned to drums. And now when we move this, we'll move all of those input levels. So we can adjust all of them simultaneously. Now the nice thing about doing this with a VCA is that we still maintain completely independent control over all the tracks. With a regular group, all the tracks move together. So now we're set up with independent outputs coming from Easy Drummer 2. This allows us complete control over our mix. We can add individual plugins. We can also process our stereo output here using our submaster that we've created. And we have control over everything using the VCA. We're ready to get rolling with our mix. Thanks for joining me for this video on how to use Easy Drummer 2 inside a mix in Pro Tools. If you have questions on this process or to learn more about the products that are featured in this video, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer or visit Sweetwater.com. I'm Mitch Gallagher. <laughs>